This audio is brought to you by Muslim Central. Please consider donating to help cover our running costs and future projects by visiting www.muslimcentral.com forward slash donate. Assalamu alaikum. On a more serious note, when you post something bad, something haram, unacceptable, something that's not permissible on social media, what happens is we get a sin for it. May Allah forgive us, right? We get a sin for it. But what's worse is we continue to get sins for everyone who watched it, saw it, perhaps became uh, affected by it in a negative way and forwarded it to others and it continues. So it's actually like on one hand, when you do a good deed, you get a reward for it. And when you encourage the good deed or display it with the intention of encouraging people to doing good, then you have a full reward uh, for everything that everyone has followed in terms of goodness. That's called sadaqa jariya, like it's a charity that is continuous. So in the same way, the sin would also be continuous, whereby because you started off something, because you posted something bad, because you, you started an evil trend, because you actually did something unacceptable, when you seek the forgiveness of Allah, you will be forgiven and your life will change. But what about the accumulation of all the sins that you have now on your shoulders because you've actually changed a lot of people negatively? And the reason why I say this is not to scare you or to doom you, But just to tell you that, you know what, when you do something, especially on social media, make sure it's a good thing. Make sure people can actually benefit from it. And the day you meet with Allah, which is very soon, it's actually tomorrow, to be honest with you. You must make sure that Allah will be proud of what you've done, pleased with you. You would be proud of what you've done and Allah will be happy too to see what you've done, subhanAllah, rather than the other way around where we did sin and now we're, subhanAllah, embarrassed of what we did because we didn't realize. So this is why the Prophet Muhammad tells us after speaking about the continuous charity and the continuous sin, he then says, subhanAllah, Rabbil Alameen, that you know, when a person sets a bad example, they get a sin for it and a sin for whoever follows that example. When a person does something good and sets a good example, they are rewarded for that and for all that which uh, is followed in terms of goodness by the rest of the people. Then he says something very interesting and that is people will continue to achieve the mercy of Allah for as long as they don't openly sin, for as long as they're not proud of the sins they've committed and advertise the sins and encourage others to sin. When that happens, then you can expect the punishment of Allah. May Allah forgive us. We don't want that to happen. So what should I do? Well, I can change, inshallah. I can, I can make amends. You know what? I, I won't achieve anything by transgressing against Allah. As a human, I may. Uh, I may fall into the trap, but not out of defiance of Allah. It's a weakness of man. Let's repent to Allah. Let's ask Allah's forgiveness. Like I said, uh, Ramadan is around the corner and subhanAllah, we must make sure that we realize time is flying. Before I know it, I'm going to be back with Allah. Nothing would have helped me except the good deeds that I did and the repentance that I engaged in. May Allah forgive me, forgive you, forgive all of us. And don't doubt the repentance. Don't doubt the forgiveness of Allah. May Allah grant us goodness. Just ponder over what I've said and inshallah I hope that it helps us to improve ourselves. Aqulu qawli hadha wa assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullah.